Well, so far we've talked a little bit about Lincoln and how his views on slavery and particularly on uh, government's responsibility towards slavery, it, it is changing. It's evolving over time. We talked about his early views of slavery, the House divided speech, his first presidential or inaugural speech, the Emancipation Proclamation. Now, finally, we're getting to the Gettysburg Address. The Gettysburg Address is going to be Lincoln's most famous speech, and quite honestly, it's one of the greatest speeches in American history. Lincoln was asked to help dedicate a former battlefield that was turned into a cemetery. And the reason it was turned into a cemetery was because there was thousands of soldiers who had died during the Battle of Gettysburg. And instead of removing these bodies to, a, to an existing cemetery, it was decided that we'll just bury the, the, the soldiers here where they had died. Now, there was a speaker that he was not the only speaker. There was other speakers there that day, too. And, and a speaker prior to Lincoln talking, uh, this other speaker had talked for over two hours hours. Now, Lincoln, when he got up, gave a very small speech, very short one. It lasted just two and a half minutes to get his point across. And the speech begins, it says, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. In this speech, Lincoln restated that this great struggle, the Civil War, it was going to test if democracy itself would survive, not just the nation, not just the United States of America, but if the idea of democracy itself would, would survive. And it's interesting, we look back, you know, the United States has been in existence for over 200 years, and there's probably 80 years or so countries that have freedom and some form of democracy today, but at the time that was not the case. In fact, this was a great experiment. United States was a great experiment in democracy. And, and Lincoln was stating, listen, this may be the end of it. If we don't bring the country back together again, if we don't win this war, the North, and bring the South back with us, democracy itself may not continue to exist. I'll just show you the video of the Gettysburg Address. The President of the United States! Resistance to the war was growing. Mr. Lincoln needed to reinvigorate the people to explain to them, and perhaps himself, why this endless plague of war must continue. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate. We cannot consecrate. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here. But it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they here gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve 
that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.